Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. And today, we're taking a look at the Ripple XRP price chart because, well, once again, we're starting the day off with incredible price action, just like we saw throughout the entire weekend and late last week, is that XRP has been exploding in price above 50 cents this morning as I'm recording this. You can see I've posted this right here. I posted it on my Twitter, and I've got it marked here for you guys that we have now reached higher by hitting 52 cents we have now reached higher than the june 2019 high so once again we have set now another high so we had taken out this one back here to set a higher high so we have higher lows continuously rising we have higher highs continuously rising and now we've even taken out this high over here so the downtrend is completely broken at this point we're setting higher highs and higher lows an exciting time to be an xrp holder because man the price has just been flying 52 cents what an incredible morning so far. Last night, I did do a live stream where we watched the weekly candle close for XRP live. If you've been following this channel for a while, we went through a grueling process of being in the lower 20s. A lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty and doubt, a lot of FUD articles out there, a lot of people calling it a scam. But we all knew that things were going to turn its way around. And sure enough, it did, breaking above 30.5. And man, we got our close after spending a year and a half below 30.5 cents on the weekly time frame unable to close above it we got it last night so we closed up there near 44 to 45 cents we've got our big weekly close it's such an amazing time because when we look back here in 2017 this was the area that really held us down before the end of year bull run also when we did crack through it right there in december that's what led us to go on a huge run up to over three dollars the next big celebration will take place when the monthly candle closes as well which is in seven days from right now and we can close ourselves above this level too it just means the biggest resistance level Level that we have is taken out and a confirmation of that things are looking beautiful for us over here in the XRP hodler world. One of the things that's really exciting to watch as well is really this total altcoin market cap because while XRP is leading the way, we have multiple days of XRP just being the, the leader right here on the top of my list firing to the upside. Most of the altcoins are doing very well and you can see that represented here in the total altcoin market cap that the altcoin market cap is firing to the upside. A lot of times in this channel we've taken a look back here in 2016 the beginning of the 2016 to 2017 bull run to see how these moves have worked in the past and to see that our growth rate has been incredibly similar to how the previous bull run started including the timing and the size of this exact correction that we just had while this was delayed out a little bit, we are starting to catch our way right back up to it. So we're getting right up in here to where we were. If you look at what happened last time with the altcoin market cap, this was kind of an explosion move that happened. And really, if we did that similarly to right now, it'd be like in a couple of weeks looking at all-time highs for the total altcoin market cap. One of the things I look at is like, I'm like, okay, what would the sentiment be like? The sentiment would be incredibly euphoric if we did break out into new all-time highs. But then you look at this and you say, okay, then comes six months of consolidation. One thing to take a look at is, okay, we'll do this really fast here. I'll show you what kind of a percentage pull down we're looking at here. You're looking at about a 50% pull down, right? But then of course it turns up and then it just keeps on ripping and roaring. But as we break out above this all time high over here, we've got to come back down and back test it and double tap it, right? A lot of people who've been here a long time, have heard that before the double tap on top. I would not be surprised to see that exact same thing happen with the double tap right here on the top again, but 53%, right? So Let's take a look at this. What happened with sentiment in this market with a pull down like this? A pull down of 28%. What happened to the sentiment? We're going to the ground. It's over. We're going to capitulate all over again, right? We saw all of that on 28%. So being in these bull markets, I, I try to warn that, you know what? There's going to be detractors. There's going to be people who are telling you it's going to go to the ground and it's going to happen the whole way up. The entire way up to the moon, there will be people screaming that we're going to be crashing to the the ground. Will pullbacks occur? Absolutely. Will corrections occur? Absolutely. Will some of them be really scary? You better believe it they will. But only the strong survive and the weak hands do get left behind. 
as XRP is now taking out this June 2019 high. We can see over there on the total altcoin market cap that it's been above that level for quite a while. So XRP is finally starting to get its catch up run to catch up with the rest of the market. So while people may think this is a little out of control, it's going up way too fast. You know what? It's really just kind of catching up to the market, which is something we've been waiting for, right? We've talked about it many times that while XRP was down here, the rest of the altcoins were way up in here and that there was a catch up that needed to take place at some point. And wow, look at it go. Now, the big thing that I keep getting over and over again, and I don't blame people for feeling this way, is asking me what's going to happen with the price action in the next four hours, the next day. Are we going to have a quick pullback to 39 cents and then move up to 65 cents? Are we going to pull back to 30.5 and then move up to 44, then 33, then up to 65? Wanting to really understand this price action and let's take a breather for a minute really fast. I think a lot of people have improved the way that they view these markets. And then it's been like this incredible experience going through this channel and kind of explaining the things that I see and watching a lot of people really kind of grow at that the same time in that when the market is fear, when the market is scared, right? When there's extreme fear in the market, when people are screaming that the prices are going to go to lower prices. And um, for example, like when we're in down here, when people are in fear, there's, there's a lot of FUD being spread, a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt. There's a lot of people screaming that it's a scam. A lot of people screaming that it's never going to take off. People are capitulating. People are giving up. And the sentiment is just purely negative. That's the time when it's usually the best to be the accumulator, right? That's the time when it's great to be a buyer. You're getting to buy after most people have already sold. There's just not very many sellers that are left after a time period like that. Most of the sellers have already done it. When prices are moving up really fast, well, people are euphorically buying. So what happens when people are euphorically buying? Well, there's a lot of sellers that are sitting there ready to sell when they start getting scared again, right? So a lot of people have swapped their mindset and they're doing a great job to swap that mindset by saying, look, these prices have gone up really fast. I'm getting kind of nervous by it. I'm not feeling that old FOMO that I used to feel when the prices would fire up. I'm not getting that whole, I'm going to get left behind feeling because I bought at the bottom. I bought when things were really bad. Now the prices are moving up really fast and now I'm starting to get nervous. <laughs> And welcome, <laughs> welcome to my world. That's how, uh, you know, that's exactly how I am. When prices start moving up incredibly fast, you say to yourself, those prices could turn on themselves real quick. <laughs> so a lot of people are asking me, is the price going to fall now? And the thing is, we're moving way too fast to be able to accurately pinpoint how that's going to play out in the short term time frame. So let's take a step back. Let's take a big deep breather and let me kind of explain what's going on with me right now, right? So I did a lot of accumulating down at the lower prices. I'm holding. I have no intention of selling it anytime soon. I have no intention of doing any type of day trading. When it comes to what my expectations are, they're going to remain exactly what they've been and that we're going to move up to somewhere around 65 to 70 cents before we finally find some resistance and see some type of pullback that could bring us right back into this resistance area. I mean, that's kind of perfect, right? That it lines up right here. So this is kind of what I'd be looking at, something like this, heading up to about 65 to 70 cents and then pulling back down into the 45 to 50 cent range. A lot of people are going to want to take that trade. I'm not taking that trade. I'm not sitting here willing to willing to risk my bags in case something like that doesn't work out. What if the price fires to 75 cents, right? And then you say, oh no, I, I got it wrong. I need to buy back in. Then the price flips on you again. It's just, I don't, I don't need any of that. And I'll, I'll kind of step back and explain why. I was there in the 2017 bull run. I made a lot of mistakes along the way. You learn from a lot of your mistakes. And the reason why I've always said I'm just an accumulator, I'm not doing any type of day trading is for situations like this. These are, if you, my mindset has always been that I don't buy when prices are firing to the upside right now, right? So uh, when prices are firing to the upside, that's where I see the most risk of you actually losing because you're buying up. It's most likely going to pull back down. But what happens in these situations where if you're doing day trading and you just got left behind, imagine if you sold at 25 cents and right now you're getting left behind is this price is at 52 cents. I just, I, I don't need that in my life. I don't need that worry. One of the things about day trading, and anybody will tell you this, is when you're doing a lot of day trading, if you're doing it every day, every other day, if you're doing it multiple times a day, it adds so much stress to your life. It makes it hard for you to go to sleep. When you lay down in bed, you wonder, am I going to get stopped out? Is the price going to flip on me? And you just don't even get good sleep. You're constantly stressed out. And boy, that's just something I don't need in my life. In 2017, the people who did the absolute best mathematically were the people who were just hodlers, people who just held on to their coins and just let them ride. Also, the people who were the least stressed were the people who were just holding. And I told myself, 
that's the strategy I'm going to use going into the next bull run is that I'm going to keep accumulating the dips, scooping them all up. And then as time goes, and once these prices start firing off, I'm going to have a plan and there will be a trade, but it's not going to be until we get way up there. So as for selling my XRP at 65 cents to buy it back at 50 cents, no way I'm not doing it. I'm holding on and I won't be selling any of my XRP until it is at least a double digit XRP and we are above $10. So I applaud to the people who are nervous now that the price has gone up because that means that you have emotionally flipped the switch inside of your head. And I applaud that because you've, you've got it. You've got it right. You've got it right to feel that way. But the thing is, is that this setup that we've been looking at on the XRP price chart, these two big movements right here were both the lead ups to this big movement that we have right here. Based on what we saw in 2017, that would be the actual beginning of the bull run. It'd be beginning of like the 2017 March bull run. So our December one only took us from 20 cents to $3.30. I know we say only, right? But when you, you know, mathematically compare that from a percentage standpoint to what occurred in March. The March bull run was significantly bigger. This setup has been identical to what we have going on in March. And every movement, every step of the way has been identical to March, including what's happening right now. So trying to get 10 to 15% right here, 20%, whatever it is, by flipping it between 65 and 50 or selling at 50, hoping for 39, any of that kind of stuff. I have zero interest in trying to trade that type of volatility. I'm holding right through it. I'm expecting these prices to move up significantly higher, regardless of what type of pullbacks occur along the way. And as we kind of wrap this up, let me just talk about this really fast in regards to sentiment and what happens now that we're in this bull market, right? Now that the prices are moving up, people are seeing gains in their portfolio that they haven't seen before. And that in itself can cause a big emotional swing. When you log into your portfolio and you look at it and it's double of what it's ever been, suddenly there's this new sentiment, this new emotion that you're feeling of, okay, I haven't seen that in a long time. I've never seen that before. How do I protect it? And people will get even more scared. They'll say, oh my gosh, I had so much at one point. And then it fell down and corrected and I lost half of it. We didn't lose half of it. It was just a correction, right? So we're going to see a lot of that moving forward as these prices keep getting higher and higher and higher. Um, you know, pretend if you only had, you know, a thousand dollars in your portfolio and that's all you had and you were kind of like and it went down to 500 one day and you're like oh man i lost it right and but you know a thousand dollars is all you could afford and then suddenly your portfolio is like say 10 or fifteen thousand dollars right and it's like wow you have way more money than you ever used to have and then you watch it pull the way back down to five thousand you're like oh my gosh i had fifteen thousand dollars and there are many walks of life who watch this channel so swap the analogy of a thousand dollars with a hundred thousand dollars or with a million dollars and 15 million dollars i'm very aware we have a wide variety of people who watch this channel and trust me when those numbers are that big emotions get wild you're going to see a lot of that moving forward as we continue to grind higher and higher and higher and that people will get left behind people will just lock in profits and they're going to lock them in at the bottom of corrections so it's going to be a wild ride the whole way up i'm prepared for that i am prepared that you're going to have these people who have more money than they've ever had in their entire lives sitting in their portfolios and seeing that go in incredibly volatile up and down is going to cause emotional swings like crazy. Um, and that's why you still see all that fear. Even though the prices continue rising, you'll see lots of fear because people will have their huge portfolios being incredibly volatile. And that's part of this game. Welcome to the most volatile market in the world. So, all right, XRP has hit 54 cents at this point. So what a great day. We're only almost just like 10 or 11 cents away from that 65 cent target. Amazing. But all right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Happy Monday. Happy start. It's Thanksgiving this week on Thursday here in the United States. Um, I'll probably take a break on Thanksgiving to spend that time with my family. But otherwise, check out my website over here, you guys. It's bcbacker.com. I've got 19 videos with four and a half hours of content. You can check it all out where I deep dive into the entire cryptocurrency market, discussing the different Bitcoin bull runs, the altcoin seasons, my exit strategy.
strategies, a lot of the tools and indicators that I use, how I manage my emotions, mathematics, really tying it all together, and how I you know plan on doing my exit plans and why I am holding my XRP till over ten dollars and what strategies I do have. So check this out over here on BC Backer. Dot com. Of course, follow me over here on Twitter at BC Backer because I do post a lot of stuff, especially with how crazy things are right now. I'm posting on Twitter very frequently. Follow me at BC Backer. And well, I hope that you're having a great day. I hope you had a great weekend. I know you had a great weekend. We all had a great weekend. So, all right, I'm going to sign out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could, please like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor, but if you ever need to pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. And now the XRP price has just hit 55 cents. Have a good one.